What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to This Is The Police. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today. We hired a snitch. There's a rat on the force. We gotta have somebody to feed us information about who's talking to who, especially since IA is coming in now. We got internal investigations up our ass because we fired an officer because feminists are angry. And so anyway, feminists are angry that I hit them with clubs. There. Let's be totally honest about the situation. Let's just put it all right out there on the table. I may have sent my officers to rub up some feminists because the mayor told me to. We may have taken things too far. So now they're like, hey, hire a bunch of female officers. Or we hate you. And so it's just, it's a mess right now. It's a mess. Unfortunately, I don't think we hired enough female officers. So we might be a little bit toast here. We have a lot of female officers. We have like eight or nine. Seven? Eight? I don't know. We have a lot of female officers. But... It may or may not work out so great. Former Mafia member bemoans City Hall corruption. What police department is this where people only work three days a week? Like, I know some police departments do four days on, three days off because you work 16s or whatever. But, that's a, that's a hell of a day, though. A 16-hour day would be a little rough. Former Mafia member of own City Hall corruption. Mayor declined services of spokesman. I can speak for myself. Chief physician at St. John's Hospital accused of slander. Dude, you've got 60 grand. Fix your car. I'll go buy a new car. It's the 80s. You can probably get one for cheap. My band is playing a charity concert for some sick children. Can I have the day off? Yeah, but come in tomorrow. Sure, whatever. Just throw, yep, just throw it on there. I don't care. It's all good. It makes no change for me. Not a single penny or quarter. All right, so the Mafia sent that over. Share half with the staff. Jack, you swore an oath to your city. If you can't keep your promises, we can't keep ours. I don't know legitimately how you expect me to have half female officers when there was no female applications. There was zero. If we had hired every female officer all the way across the board, we would have just barely made it. And some of them were terrible. They had like 30 professionality. I ain't taking that hit. I'll just use my favor to get whatever my budget cut slot is back. And then I'll rat you out to the media for cutting the police's budget when crime rates go up. Two homeless men made their way into a bakery under the cover of darkness where they ate their fill and bedded down for the night. In the morning, the bakery owner Gregory Martinez along with cashier Anna Lucas went inside and discovered the damage. The homeless men armed with knives were unhappy to be disturbed and attacked the victims. The shopkeeper managed to escape, but the cashier remained inside with the homeless men who were seen tearing off her clothes. Jesus. Let's see, please be informed that the employee complaint has passed along to the prosecutor for further investigation. I'm pretty sure your staff is preparing a plot against you. So how do I deal with that? I mean, I want to know what it does before I do it. I have to buy silence. I think I have to figure out who's gonna go up against me. It's weird that he was at home and he found information that people were gonna testify against me. Unless it's one person. After the incident with the horses, we secretly transferred Mr. Sands' guest to a local hotel. We set up a guard outside his door. Suddenly, we're hearing screams coming from his room, and there's water flowing from the bathroom. We'll break down the door, but police presence wouldn't hurt. All right, I'll send him out there. I'll probably regret it because we'll probably get a big call in just a minute. But what are you gonna do? Defenders were caught, so Austin's moving on up the chain. They got a plot against me right now. I split my cocaine money with you. I split my gun money with you. I did all kinds of stuff. Y'all are killing me. I wonder if you can lose this game. Like, actually formally lose. I mean, we're only here for like 180 days, right? There's a fight at the Blitz Cafe, and we're only two... Oh my god, we're only two weeks in, and we're already getting like formal complaints and shit. Who knew that firing a guy would have this problem?
Oh, we got a fight. Two truckers fell to blows over a parking space in the lot near the diner. Cook tried to separate him, who was struck by a wild punch and is now lying on the ground, motionless. Uh, it's just a fight. A fight that's like way, way, way out of town, but that's cool. I'm a little worried. I'm thinking I might not be very good at this game. I mean, I'm really bad at the City Hall request because they're all unreasonable. Every single one of them is super unreasonable. Like, they're either ridiculously racist, sexist, like, Jesus, man, what do you want me to do? Like, you can't go through with any of this stuff, they say, because it's all horrible. This is not the city to be working in. Meanwhile, you fire a guy who's terrible at his job to hire somebody who's better at it, and all of a sudden you're getting investigated. Unions, man. Unions. Uh, we've got Amy Marvin at the Donatello. Jack, my entire staff at the donut shop came down with the flu. I haven't been able to find anybody to help out. Could you send me a couple of your men? I'm sure they wouldn't mind frying up some donuts. It's easy. I'll show them everything they need to know. My shop barely makes ends meet, so I can't afford one day of downtime. Are you for real? Hell no. You gotta be kidding me. And every time I send them to some shit like this, they never come back. Actually, it's 5 o'clock. We can afford to do it. Never mind. It's 5 o'clock. You can send people. Sands needs help. We need backup. Some punks tried to crash one of our poker games, but we aren't about to let them walk away with the money. So now we got ourselves a standoff. A couple officers on the scene would change the situation in our favor. I'm going to wait and see if anything crops back up. How many need to send them out on Sabaki? I figure the faster they get on it, the less the chances of overlap. You know what I mean? Thank you, Chief. Standing on that flyer is hellish work. I'd rather dodge bullets than spray from the oil, but at least Ms. Marvin promised us to keep us in donuts for the rest of the year. Oh, good. They didn't stay after work. Usually they stay after work, and it's just awful. Public indecency. During a special viewing of the thriller Law Abiding Max 3, a theater... That doesn't sound like a very... That doesn't sound like a very entertaining film. I'm going to be honest with you. Most, most entertaining films have to do with crime or the stopping thereof, but just a guy going about his business obeying the law. Man, it must be a romantic comedy or something. Theater employee discovered one of the members of the audience had hardly had removed his pants. The man noticed the employee was watching him and responded with threat that he would cut the throats of everyone in the theater. Unstable ass people. People are just dumb too. Like when you say some shit like that, do you just not think people are gonna call the cops? If it was like thirty years ago, I'd be slightly worried because mm, cop. Cops and the, the, the activity of copping. I mean, you can see here, we're corrupt as hell. It's just there was less checks and balances back then. You can get away with shit easier. Nowadays, well, I get away with shit nowadays, too, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do when they have full carte blanche to, God, investigate themselves? The movie theater isn't too crowded, and the film is in full swing. Carefully approach the man. Offender caught. Hooray. We now have officers over 400 professionality on this team. Absolutely fantastic. We got vandalism in the suburbs. A man who wished to remain anonymous reported that a group of teenagers had once again made fun of his name by writing insulting rhymes on a six-foot wide garage. The man is enraged and threatened that next time he'll use a weapon to defend his honor. From children? Really? Like, it's an asshole thing to do. I'd be mad, but you're going to shoot a kid for spray painting a wall? Seems like a bit of an overreaction. Send Austin. She needs the level ups. I'm just saying, some things do not equal a death sentence. Th that's all that I'm saying. No new frames were found in this investigation. Do I have anybody who's not on an investigation that would like to be on this one? Because this is not going anywhere right now. Actually, keep Mosier off just in case we need him, but put Armstrong on it. Do we have any gang investigations running? No gang investigations. Okay. Internal Affairs. I'm hoping... My hope is that my snitch... We'll figure out who's plotting against me, and once he's got them lined up, we'll either have them whacked, or we'll pay him off. I 
like send them to a hostage standoff by themselves or something. I mean, honestly, it's not expensive. There it is. Offender was caught. Good. Austin's up to 200. It's not expensive to have an officer whacked. It's only like a grand to have the Sands do it. So if it comes down to the line, it comes down to the line. I'd be like, there's only six months left. You might as well let me get away with it. I'm just saying. Five, six months of debauched police work. I get what I want. You guys get a little bit of a cut. And from there, life is good. Robespierre, I'm pretty wealthy, but deeply unhappy. University of Freeburg tuition costs to decrease. Mayor calls prosecutor's office to check Robespierre's statements for extremism. A new jacket, too. I've been wearing the same clothes like every day for like 19 days straight. Go to a dry cleaner, bro. What does B mean? What does that B mean? If it was a P, I would assume it was for plot. Man, it's got to be my good detective, too, huh? Any new albums back up in here? Let's go to the catalog real fast. Ulrich's list. Chimen. Sure, why not? Let's buy them all now. So which one was that Chimen one? I think they go in back to front. That was not the one that I wanted. They're hard to click, too. They could probably make that a little bit easier. Temptation Blues. Why not? Go ahead and throw it in there. Although the album cover's red, you'd think that they would get the... I don't know. I don't know how artists think, but when something's called the blues, maybe put some blue colors in there. I don't know what that B means. I'm concerned about it. St. John's. An irate lumberjack by the name of Grisham Frank claims that he planted a bomb at the cathedral, blew up the building with everybody inside, unless the police... Arrest the priest. Apparently, the priest convinced his recently deceased wife to refuse treatment at the hospital and ask for God's help instead. Yeah, that'd do it. Um. So what's going on? Hire Asian cops. A Japanese businessman who must remain nameless will soon arrive in Freeburg. Our city hopes to sign a major contract with him as our guest. He will examine many of our institutions, including the police station. His visit is scheduled on the 5th. Please take care to ensure that you have at least Asian officers working on that day. So on August 5th, what day is it? August 2nd. Please be informed that the two employees initiated a complaint against you for official interviews are Robbins and Mosier. That's a little rough because both those guys are... Uh... It would make sense, though, that the ones with high professionality would be against us. So we've got a whack Robbins and we got a whack Mosier. It's either that or we can buy them off. And then go 12 grand. A conscience gets expensive though, doesn't it? That conscience gets real, real expensive. That's one of those things that like... Eh, it, it is what it is. Like, let's take a look at the price difference between having a conscience and not having a conscience. How about that? Let's go to affairs. We can kill both of those officers for $2,500. That's it. $2,500. Or we could pay him $12,000 to shut him up. And it might be $12,000 per. That's the big concern. If we have to do $12,000 per person that we kill... Or per person that's testifying against us? That's our money disappearing real, real fast. Then again, we get to keep them on as they, we get to keep them on as high ranking employees. So let me take a look at affairs and see who's on the labor market. We've got Kitaru Hidaka. We've got Taigo Ine. And so it looks like they did give me some options here, although he's really, really bad. I have Kudao. Let me take a look. 
We've got Numata, Kochi, and Subaki. I wonder what that B means. What does that B mean? I have no idea what that B means. Huh. Glad we hired a snitch, though. That's really, really good. He's actually come through. I mean, if his information's good. If his information's not good, we might be in deep shit, but... This is trouble. So on the third, it'll be them. On the fourth, it'll be them. On the fifth, it'll be them. So I shouldn't need to change anything right now because he's going to come in and... See, I don't see how they could still fail that feminist quest when our entire B-shift is female. But they said half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We had eight female officers and still failed that quest. It's like, I just, I don't get how they expect you to populate half your force with women without getting an investigation against yourself, which we got anyways, just trying to make the quest happen by firing one guy. Should've just had him whacked. Cathedral is full of visitors. Let's see, find the priest, begin the evacuation. Improvised explosive device has been found near the repute, near the altar. Ensure the cathedral has been evacuated. It's just a building, you know? You gotta get the people out. To me, it's just a building. If we can get the evacuation done, then we can call in the bomb squad. I'd feel a lot better about the way it's going down. So yeah, I don't know what the better call is. We can whack the cops. The downside to that is that we really don't have any great replacements. We've got Robert Shero, who's all right. He's okay. And then we've got Felix Beckman, who is terrible. So... If we've got the backlog, the formal complaint goes through on the 4th, so we have a couple days. Mosier and Robbins. Well, I'm going to try buying silence first, because I want to see how it works. And if it only buys the silence of one of them, we'll whack the other one. Your staff agreed to keep their mouths shut. Oh, okay, so it bribes the entire force. Cool! Sounds good to me. I'm still $50,000 richer, so, you know, sometimes you gotta spend money to make money. That's how business and life work. Chief, some guy in rags is trying to enter the police station. He says he's a Tibetan bunk and he wants to talk to a patrolman about the nature of violence. Should we let him in? Hell no. You got public indecency at the everyday mall. What is it with people being naked in this town? A drunken teenager encouraged by a group of fans stripped off his clothes at the cash register and attempted to purchase a pack of condoms. Seems like some sort of hazing or a rite of passage. Send gist, I guess. I don't trust the people that are under 200 to get it done by themselves. I mean, honestly, I don't know if gist will get it done either at 250. 250 is only 100 points above, like really average. Sands needs help. Safety precaution, we decided to change all the staff that work on the ranch. We just hired eight new maids from a neighboring city, but the bus they were taking got intercepted by Vargas punks. Let's teach them that our maids can't be trifled with. Had an onion bagel this morning. I don't know if you like onion bagels, but I love onion bagels. Onion bagels are the stuff of dreams for me. Oh, good. He got him. Fantastic. I was a little bit worried that he wouldn't be able to arrest one naked guy. If I was a cop and I had to show up to arrest a naked guy, after putting on my latex gloves, I'd be in a really, really bad mood. Sands needs help. A hockey team, Mr. Sand is getting ready for an important match. The ice arena is closed during training hours. But the stadium director just reported some people in strange clothes. Breaking into the area, climbing, you know, calling, it's a little ironic, calling something a match when it takes place at, like, a place that's cold. It'd be more ironic, I guess, because, like, a match is a thing that you burn, and so, like, for example, 
if you've got a match for the swim team, like it's a match, so it's named after a thing that catches on fire, but at the same time, is it a place that's like made out of water? Kind of crazy, right? The things you don't think about, huh? All right, so the stadium director just reported people are breaking in and climbing into the stands, so you got to send somebody out to help the stands with that. I'm ensuring my future. If I get fired as the police chief, I want Sands in my pocket. It never hurts to have powerful people with a vested interest in keeping you in business. If we bark up that tree long enough and he finds that we're a good gopher, we're going to be untouchable by City Hall anyways, and it's not going to matter. There's an assault. A crazed woman just rang in. My God, this wretch is going to kill my baby. Please send everyone you can right away. Seems unlikely. I will send Samadhi and I will send Grant. Because I don't think somebody's actually going to kill her baby. I'm willing to bet it's probably like a hot dog salesman or something. And she's just flipping out. That sounds like one of the telltale ones. The, the charge is so vague. Help, he's trying to kill my baby. Explain the situation a little bit better. I understand if you're under duress, you might not be able to. But in the case of the game, the ones where they don't explain themselves very well tend to be false alarms. An elderly woman's cat got into a fight with the neighbor's dog. The dog ran back home and four other cats jumped out of the house to the rescue, see? Kitty's holding it together, throwing down, ready to throw claw, let them know, slaying them hand knives. Attempted murder. Woman driving past the bridge saw two thugs grabbing a skinny guy by his legs and hanging him over the bridge railing. The man was struggling and shouting. Send Burns, Anderson, and... Oh, send Kudao. My hope, we haven't picked up anything new from here, so that's got me like a little bit, that's got me a little bit interested in what I've messed up here, because we have the frames. And just something feels off about it. Alarm is off. Went back down again. I didn't hear the glass breaking. It's a big museum. So see, we're probably barking down the wrong tree here. It was probably an inside job. And then they threw the brick to break the window. After the fact is my guess. That's just what I'm leaning towards. We've got a lot of people on the case, and so it's like one of those things where I can allocate more resources to see if we can get past, like, the next part. Seems like they're really having trouble with it, though, so I don't know. Maybe put some more bodies on it. There it is. Three new frames. Yeah. That seems a little bit more plausible, but we're still missing something, so... It'll be cool. Let's just finish the day. I mean... Attempted murder. Offender was caught. Kudao, Burns, and Robbins all get themselves a little plus. Kudao is now officially one of the officers I trust to get stuff done. So that's super awesome. We get investigated in two days. We have one day until our city hall request. I'll probably use that to nullify the budget cut that they're going to hit me with. We haven't had any storyline in a while, strangely enough. Construction of new school postponed again. Freeburg to host exhibition of children's drawings. New federal law allows criminals to launder money more easily. 
A good sign for me because the IRS doesn't like it when you have $50,000 just randomly showing up in your account. I need to take my car to the shop. Can you spare me today? Yes. No. Boyd. Is everything okay, Jack? I'm not calling in the middle of a job. No, 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 you're okay. Did you find her? Yes, yes, I found her. Nothing shocking, don't worry. She's living with an insurance agent in the suburbs. He's 31 years old, recently divorced. He has a funny car, you know, like in that movie where that... Did uh... you talk to her? Yeah, we talked. More like I talked and she basically cried. God, she hasn't cried so much since high school. You know, she was dating this boy from a restaurant and... Oh, oh what was his name? And so, then I... Laura, she'll be back? Of Th course she'll be back. She just needs time. Time? You mean once she gets tired of screwing the insurance agent? Jack, you're talking about my daughter. Yeah, I know. I just... I want to... Well, I, I just want her to come back as soon as possible. Don't worry, I'm with you. We just need a little patience. I know it's asking a lot, Jack, but you really just got to be patient. Wait for my call. All right. Again, I'll wait for the call. Yes, understood. I know the situation is asking a lot from you too, Mrs. Markham. Thank you. And please, call me anytime. Jack? Yeah? You okay for money? Excuse me? Well, you know, where the papers were talking about your resignation, they said you and Laura were a little tight, and I thought maybe you'd... Good God. Jack? Jack? All right, that's the end of our episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of This is the Police. Whoop, whoop. I'll see you all tomorrow. Sure, why not?